This is a great example. Pay attention to Carrie right here. Have you ever noticed those clients that can't go all the way to the end that's right there? She, got, she has really not bad eyebrows. Her, her eyebrows are pretty decent. But she, she have a problem with her eyebrows growing out to the end. So what we're going to do is, basically, I want to bring some more definition to our eyebrows. Now, eyebrow tinting is, or uh, eyebrow enhancement treatment is very much the same thing to eyebrows as um, blackouts are to uh, men's beards, oftentimes. What does that do? It just makes it just pop out and makes, more, makes it more distinct. And that's what we want to do with her eyebrows. So, um, and she has some beautiful lashes. You have lashes before? Ever had lashes done before? Once. Once before? Okay, great. So what I'm going to do is get her set on up, and I'm going to wipe down her eyebrow area because you always want to start with a clean, clear surface. And a clean, clear surface allows you to be able to uh, remove the just clean surface, which is going to cl uh, clean up her area. She's going to lean back in just a little bit, and I'm going to put some light onto this area right here. Boom, 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 boom. Now, if you notice, she has some makeup in this area. Now, what I want to do is be able to, I got it done. Uh, I want to be able to take the makeup, and I'm going to move stand up for me real quick so I can get a little bit more clear right there. Boom, perfect. Since we want everybody to see what we do, we ain't doing nothing in secret today, y'all. So, we're going to lean back here. So, what I like to do is to simply just clean up this area, boom, wipe this. Now, I want a clean surface. Why do I want a clean surface? Capsule? Okay, good. Thank you. Boom. Uh, what I want is to be able to... Perfect. Now, what we're using is a henna-based tint. And the reason why we're using a henna-based tint is that we want it to be... Uh, it will adhere very good. We go zoom, zoom, zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. Boom. Zoom, 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 zoom. Zoom. <laughs> Zoom, 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 zoom. I might be the cameraman after a while. I might be the cameraman. But I'm going to angle your thing just a little bit over to the other side. Boom, boom, boom. So there's a few things that you need to have just when you start to do eyebrows and eyelashes. First thing you need to always keep is hand sanitizer. Okay? Boom. And we're going to do some hand sanitizer. The other thing that we need to have is the mints that I don't have. I do not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now for real, you that close to somebody's proximity, just, <laughs> just a little bit. Just yes, darling. Go ahead. I'm about to put some gloves on too. But um, even with me doing lashes, I, I got a black glove that we, we were about to use a moment ago. But I used it yesterday and the glove was too big. And I might use a smaller one. And then it kept getting in my way. So I'm just be honest with you. Um, unless I just want to keep my hands and protect my hands from being uh, protect my hands from be turning black and stuff, but I do it a lot of times really quick and just, you know, um, forget. But yes, that's a very good question, and yes, most of the times we do do uh, use a glove for professionalism. But I like, oh, okay, perfect. Mm, okay, so, for real, that's a bad, that's a bad feeling, that's a bad feeling, bad feeling, bad feeling. So I am going to put, since we're talking about that, we are going to use our OJ gloves, and if the gloves don't fit, you must what? I, I talk, and he still went to jail. I'm trying to, I, I, okay. So, so we have our OJ gloves, and we got our glove on. And I want to be able to show you guys how this works. I guys should laugh more in life. I mean, just enjoy just a little bit. I'm going to tell you something. I told class earlier today, that's it. I said, if you don't love doing what you're doing, you're in the wrong business. You just, read, you just need to read it. Just go on, get on out. Hurry up. Just get out. Just, I mean, really, do something else. Don't, don't torture your clients anymore. Yeah. There's nothing worse than being mad or angry going to work, and the clients is mad because you mad. You know what I mean? They're like, she's mad again. She can't even work again. Mad one more time. You know, that's not a very good feeling. You know, they're like, oh, my God, I hope she's she happy today. If your clients have to wonder whether you're happy when you're coming to work. <laughs> See, I'm trying, I'm trying to really help y'all. I'm trying to help you. If they have to wonder whether or not you're happy when you're coming to work, you might not be in the right business. You might have missed it. I'll tell you something real, 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 real seriously. 
I, I, I really, this was my dream. I want you guys to understand. I, I'm, doing, I'm living my dream. I wanted to teach and educate. I mean, really, I'm teaching, I wanted to teach and educate more than being behind the chair. And I've done everything from doing competitions. I've done everything from, you know, I was on, any of you guys watching the reality television, I was on the last episode with Making a Band. The guy had the dreadlocks. Diddy told him to go get a haircut in the barber shop. I was the barber who cut his hair on that show. I literally have done everything that I dreamed of doing. But what do you do after you've done everything that you've always dreamed of doing? You go back and do something that you really want to do. I'm going to be honest with you, seriously. So I was like, I really want to go teach and what do you want to do education? She's like, well, you need to go do it. I have a proper friend. She says, you know, people say, I always wanted to do this or that. But the problem is, she said, if it's a part of your destiny, they said, I can't afford to do it. But she said, if it's a part of your destiny, you can't afford not to do it. So really, if it's, if it's a part of your destiny, you can't afford not to do it. Well, I always wanted to go back to school, but I can't afford to go back to school. If it's a part of your destiny, you can't afford not to do it. You're robbing yourself and robbing the individuals around you out of their destiny and your purpose. That's a whole nother subject. We gonna leave. <laughs> okay, so we back in our class again. Come back to our class again. All right, so what we're gonna do is do equal part mixture. So we're gonna take our tent, and I wanna be basically put enough in there to be able to do equal parts. Everybody's familiar with doing hair color and everything like that. What I want to do is create a paste very much so it goes on. Not too runny, not too anything else. I want to create a nice little paste. Of course, we're going to have a brush that we're going to use. Boom, 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 boom. And our brush consists of just mixing this together. Now, in your kit, when you purchase your kit, it's going to have a, um, a flat brush. All I did was take my scissors that was in the kit and I angled it. Just no different than you uh, painting at home. When you paint at home, it's better to do an edge out with a angled brush than to do with a flat brush. You get a better, a better edge. So when I'm doing eyebrows, I get a better angle with an angled brush as opposed to a flat brush. Little small secret. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start on the inside corner of the eyebrow and I'm gonna work my way out to the tail. That's where we start at. Now, Someone says, well, James, I already do hair color on somebody's eyebrows, and that's what I've been using for I don't know how many years. Well, one of the wonderful things about using henna is that the development time is very, very quick. Uh, when I put this on, it's usually about three to six minutes when it takes, takes place. Um, when I place it on there, it's also going to actually grab very good to her natural brow area. So what I'm going to do is start, and I'm going to start my brush. Now, what we're teaching you, more importantly than product, we're teaching you proper application, all right? How many people have seen, saw people in the salon and they put uh, color on somebody's eyebrow and they look like Oscar the Grouch? And they just look like Oscar the Grouch and they walk around and like, oh my God, then they gotta rub it. And for those who have been in the beauty industry for a long time, what happens? They tell them, baby, just go get some cigarette ashes and put it on your eyebrows. It'll come off eventually, it'll come off eventually. So what we're teaching, what we're teaching is how to properly, I hope we got this right here. What we're teaching is, and I'm doing small strokes, and I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to do small strokes, and I'm going to create this eyebrow, just design it on out. And I want it to be nice and dark and full. Why? Because I want definition. Now, it's going to lighten up a little bit, but see this area right here, that there's really like nothing right there? Technically, you don't really see anything. I'm going to just bring this on out. Now, if she was up every morning, every day doing her eyebrows, what would she be doing? The brush your own brow, just like that, wouldn't you? So what we're going to do is create the same thing. We're going to do the brush on brow, uh, but we're going to do the tint on there, the eyebrow enhancement treatment, and we're going to design it out just like that. Now, I could go as thick as I want to. I'm trying to stick with the natural brow that she has there. I'm going to fill it in just a little bit more on the bottom. And we're going to line this up so Miss Ossie can do her uh, the threading. We're going to do threading. Now I'm going to explain what threading is while it's, being taken, while it's taking place. How many want to know that? Anybody ever been to the mall and asked somebody to teach them how to do threading before? <laughs> what did they say? Very difficult. <laughs> yeah. Or they sit there and say, they said no. Like they told me. And I mean, seriously, this is, this is a real story. I'm going to turn her face like this so you can see this side. Real story, I asked the young lady, I said, would you please teach me how to do eyebrow threading? And she said, no. 
she was in the mall, and I wasn't, you know, nothing against her at all. But I was so hungry to learn, like many of you guys. Many of you guys came to the conclusion that, you know what, as soon as I find somebody that can teach me, I'm going to learn, all right? So I was the same thing. I saw a lady in the mall. I told my wife, I'm going to learn how to do that eyebrow thread. And she says, I know you always go learn something to do. I know you go do it. You go learn it. So, but when I went to the young lady, I was so excited. I was like, can you please teach me how to do eyebrow threading? And she says, no. I said, oh, wow. I said, well, I'm going to go a little bit darker on the bottom right here. I said, well, how much you make an hour? She says, well, I make about, I think at that time, $8 an hour. I said, I'll give you $400 cash. And she sat there and still said, nope. <laughs> now, anybody that know men understand this. If you ever tell a man no, what does that mean? That makes him want to try harder, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't tell a man no. That means like, so now my mind is really running now. I'm trying to figure this out. I'm like, okay. I'm using a Q-tip like an eraser, by the way. In the video, it does not show to use a damp Q-tip, but I'm giving you a secret to use a damp Q-tip to be able to control the tent so it, is, it, uh, it lays right. Now, I've been doing this so long, I don't need to do a whole lot of cleanup when it comes down to control, so it makes it a little bit easy. Another thing that I'm going to do right here is going to basically just take a, the, uh, the white and I'm going to take off some, I'm going to taper out right in here. Why am I doing that? Because I want a perfect blend. I don't want a hard line right in that area. So I'm going to turn around and just take this off a little bit right there, and I'll come back in and clean up some more, but I want to do this. Now, while we're still doing our eyebrows and getting them in process right now, I'm going to come back in and fill in one more time, and then she should be really good to go. Now, one of the things about tinting, depending on how long you leave it on, just like any other color, that's how much uh, definition you're going to get with it. With her, I know her natural hair color is a certain color, so I'll go ahead and go a little bit more deeper with her than I would go with somebody else. It's actually not usually coming a, a dark brown color, but again, you can manipulate any color based upon the length of time that you leave it on. All right, so this other side is ready to go to be wiped down. And I'm going to just simply take and wipe down this other side. Now, what you're going to see is two different things. This one is going to grab very well. And then when I say when I wipe this down, it's going to be wiped down for real, like gone. And when I'm wiping, I'm wiping for real, gone. But guess what? With air oxidation, it's actually going to cause it to get darker. And it's going to get more richer. So what looks like is gone, but it's starting to, it's, you'll see in a moment... As air oxidation hits it, it's going to start getting richer and richer. And you're like, whoa, her eyebrows are starting to get darker and deeper and deeper. That's exactly what I want because we are putting on a tent to make it last longer, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to let that just air oxidize. Everybody take a look at this over here. Zoop, zoop, zoop. But I want her to take where everybody can... Look at her over here. So look at your face right there. You can see it pretty much from there, honestly. You see that? So as time is progressing on and as just drying just a little bit, it's starting to get darker and more deeper.